guys i'm so excited i have the new kirby roseanne book geomorphia i think i pre-ordered this in like april or something crazy like that i have all his books i just love him um this one is a little it feels bigger and heavier than the last one the cover is that scratchy material i like to hear the sound um this one is um <laughs> 19 intricate single-sided images of stunning creatures and landscapes that morph together so that's what the geomorphia is i've already marked all of my favorites that i want to get right into so let's get started the nameplate page let me back out a little bit so you can see the whole thing i love it look at it it's like like a dung beetle and here come here the um the little pinchers or trees isn't that awesome i love it love it i can just already see myself coloring it and then all the little houses and things and then it's got like a castle right here i just love books like this and all the little hidden details you know that you don't usually find until you start coloring all right let's see they are non-perforated and let's just get started flipping. we had this really cool castle here and all of these crystals will be really fun to practice <clears throat> i love this it's one of my pages that i marked it's got the dinosaur all wrapped in with the uh the trees coming out of all the different holes in his head and then they got like a tree house right here so cool I love it all right let's see we got a volcano with all these what looks like um, wolves coming out very neat this one is neat too the sand dunes and the camels and then they got the water and the ships up here this is one that I would call easy <laughs> This is the kind of book where I would get out my watercolors and I would watercolor wash a lot of the big stuff. Then I would go back in with my pencils and start shading and coloring. I think <clears throat> I think this is the one I want to do first. The, uh, the giant octopus. Oh my god, there's so many cool little things in here. I like the swimmer. And then on top of the water, you got all this cool stuff. Isn't it just neat? I love this fish. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. Angler fish or something. And then we got like a happy, the happy fish. I think that's what it's called. Very cool. I think that might be the first one. I haven't decided. This is the one from the cover. The polar bear We've got some narwhals here and some whales and stuff this one's very cool and this one is a tornado with like wild horses and stuff <clears throat> can you see all the little the little horse heads in there I just can see this all colored in how pretty that would be this one's nice too I like them all what am I saying the waterfall and we got all these hot air balloons and the um planes all the beautiful clouds and stuff really great detail some people are like oh it's so overwhelming it's not if you think about it you do a color wash you get your basic colors in and then you just go back and start highlighting the areas that you want you know ah this one is really cool this reminds me of um, the Tomb Raider. This is going to be really cool. Colored in. This one is not my favorite. It's just kind of, eh. But we got the cave with the bats coming out. And then they got like a little secret city in here. All the treetops and all. I mean, I love the art. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Here's another one that hmm, it's just a little bit. 
a lot of these seahorses. Lots and lots of seahorses. Just a nice underwater scene. I think I would just would get tired of coloring all these little teeny tiny seahorses. I love this one, the elephant with the tree. I think that is so cool. And look, I got a little playing card right there. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> and then we got a wave here, big giant wave with like these bulls coming out. And we got this, looks like a kid and a boat. scary but very awesome I can see all the different color blues and stuff this is the other one that I'm thinking about doing first I can't make up my mind but the Asian one I love it look at the koi fish we got this beautiful little cherry blossom trees and the bridge here and they got people on the bridge house and the lanterns I think this would be beautiful we got like a, a little volcano thing going on over here and the little lily pond this one's gonna be so pretty I don't know which one to do <clears throat> and we got this really cool snail he's got all these little steps to get up here to this little house another book with a giant snail if I remember correctly this one does really cool too it reminds me of a Joanna Basford page I don't remember which book it is but you'll uh, you guys will know uh, with where the, she has a tree and then they have all of the little sorry they have all the little um, fossils and things little tunnels and things going down this is really neat be very cool to color that one whirlpool look at the whirlpool with all the jellyfish they're all over you see them very neat and check this snake out look at it it's huge and it makes like a trail see the little pattern it goes off amongst all the mountains and stuff it is super cool I think this is the last one maybe I love this one too this one oh man maybe I'll do that I got three of them okay top three <laughs> that I really love this I love the horns I love these kind of trees and they're up in the um looks like the sky I'm thinking or is it trees so whatever you want it to be shoot look at that isn't that awesome how unique we got some hidden things in this one very cool all right oh and then we got the page where um he wants you to go find all the different items and things. I've already found that one. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, answers can't look at that. <clears throat> the end. Animorphia, Imagimorphia, Mythomorphia, Phantomorphia. Out of all of these books, I think Phantomorphia I've done the most in. I just absolutely love, love, love that book. So, um, yeah, guys, go check this out. This is a really great book. And I like how in the bag, he's got, like, even though, you, I mean, you could color it if you wanted to. But he's got, like, the full version, double page of the polar bear. And we've got this huge whale and all kinds of little narwhals and stuff. I think that is really, really cool. All right, guys, if, um, if you got this. Let me know what you think about it. Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? What do you think? Um, are y'all getting sick of Kirby? Hmm. Um, I still love them. I love it. I love all the stuff about it. So um, let me know down in the bottom if you have any questions or comments. And I will post a link where you can buy this from. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you haven't hit sub, please do. It really helps me out. And there's a bell down there. Hit the bell. Every time I do a video, you'll get notified. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.